let's say you're a doctoral student who's just figured out that you're going to be collecting and analyzing qualitative data as part of your dissertation. Or maybe you're a professional and you have hired a team of interns who are going to help you analyze a couple hundred documents and some social media data over a summer. You might be wondering, how am I going to manage all of this data? Um, and as it turns out, there are lots of options out there to help you analyze qualitative data. So how do you choose, right? If you're going to do something by hand uh, when you're analyzing qualitative data or if you're going to use software. There are lots of options out there. So some uh, examples include LSTI, MaxQDA, Deduce, InVivo, Transana, Hyper Research, Ethnograph, Quarkos, and I'm missing some, I know I am. So one of the things that uh, I would keep in mind is how much data do you have? Uh, that's one of the things, so if you have a very small project, then you may not choose to you invest the time in qualitative software. Qualitative software can be really helpful if you have lots of data, if you're doing a project over a long period of time. Really, the software is designed to help you stay organized. Another thing to think about is are you going to be doing more qualitative research in the future? And so even if you have a relatively small project, then you might choose to invest the time in learning a qualitative data analysis software um, because you want to know how to do it in the future. And with a small project, that's a nice way to get started. Uh, so those are, those are two big points that I would consider. So no, different packages handle different kinds of uh, data types, right? So not all packages can handle um, pictures or survey data. Some packages are more comprehensive and others focus mostly on text. All of the software packages have at their core the ability to help you analyze text-based data. So in other words, like Word documents or PDFs that have the text recognized. So depending on what kind of data you have, that might uh, determine which package you choose. Qualitative data analysis software packages are not easy buttons. You, with your human brain, are still going to have to analyze the data because that's a part of qualitative data analysis. It can help you uh, automate some organizational aspects, and it can help you get some information more quickly about your data. So uh, for instance, in InVivo, which is the software package that I use, I can quickly um, look for certain words or phrases. I can quickly get a count of words. I can quickly organize my data by interview question or by speaker. But that's not at the heart of my analysis. I still have to manually code my data in order to answer my research question. There are free packages out there. And cost is, can certainly be a factor, particularly if you're not associated with an institution. The free packages tend to have less capability than the paid packages. Just make sure that it can do what you need it to do. So if you're working with transcribed interviews and you just want to code your data, you have lots of options out there. Um, if you're working with survey data and video data and images and PDFs and online data and you want to ask interesting, complex questions around uh, how different themes or demographics intersect with those themes, then you might want to consider a more complete package. And those are often paid. And so the big three packages are uh, InVivo, MaxQDA, and Atlas TI. Those are commonly used at campuses um, across the US and Canada and the UK and Australia and in other countries. And they tend to have the more comprehensive capabilities. And those vary a little bit by package, but they tend to handle more varieties of data formats um, and have more advanced coding and analytical capabilities and some automation capabilities as well.